No, last week, we, uh, me and uh, Robert, we talked about, we did talk about the cash promotion that's going on in our business, right? Uh, but last week, was a lot about mindset. Uh, and this week, I want to break it down to even more basic level. So, so Vaz, you know, I'm uh, glad to have you here on today. And, uh, you know, we're gonna, what, what are we going to do? We're gonna well, go today, I, I, yeah, I think, as we, as we just said, let's take it down to the basics. What does it take? Like, there's a huge cash promotion, Samson, up to 6000 U.S. dollars. I call I call that free spending money and summer money, right? <laughs> Get all the bathing suits, swimming trunks, whatever you need, right? For the summer. Yeah. And I, I believe that by going simple, what I mean is really how simple is it to achieve this this uh, promotion of six thousand dollars? I mean, I don't know. I don't know if anybody's allergic to money. Anyone out there? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but. Yeah, I want, to, I want to take it down so people can understand how simple it is, where to find the information, what does it look like, and and that's what I want to talk to you about. Yeah, and, and today we definitely want to break it down to the very, very basic of what exactly we need to do to reach it, okay? So so maybe, Voss, if you don't mind, maybe take five to ten minutes, maybe you can go over the promotion with them, right, good? Okay, perfect. All right, guys. Now, by the way, make sure you guys have pen and paper handy. Not only that, you can actually chat any questions you may have, any concerns, where to find the information. So make sure you put that up there so we can get that answer for you. So it makes it a lot easier to do the business, right? All right. So let's talk about these um, promotions. So building from promotion to promotion and a $6,000 cash bonus. Now, I have to ask you guys. How many of you guys want $6,000? I know I do, right? So it's really about taking our business to the next level. So let's talk about Shoot the Sapphire 2021. It's an amazing uh, promotion that Janess has put together for us. Very generous. And it's the right time, right? Uh, I don't know, you know, wherever you are in the world, you know, it depends on if you're going back to work or not. But I think the $6,000 can, can come in really handy. So it is a global uh, promotion. It's every region that we are in business in, which is 150 plus countries. And um, so it's, it's a, how you do this is to accumulate new personal group volume and advance in ranks to Sapphire Executive. Now the promotion started May 1st and it ends June 30th at 1159 Eastern, Stand Eastern time in the US, okay? So you wanna get this done before the 30th so you can celebrate, okay? And earn up to $6,000 in bonuses. Now, how we build this is to, to achieve the rank of, of Sapphire, there's you, obviously, you see the picture there. And um, what you do is you want to to share the business. What, what I, now, Samson, Samson go over all the details of who you should speak to and how you should build. So what you want to do is you want to actually, well, Samson, do you want to touch on this part? Well, well I mean, yeah, sure. Uh, in regards to becoming a Sapphire in the compensation plan, uh, you have to, to win the money, you have to reach the rank of Sapphire and also have enough sales volume, right? So here, this slide represents the structure of how, uh, how, uh, how, how big your team need to be for you to qualify as a rank for Sapphire, okay? And all those... Uh, People, they are, are uh, distributors. Okay, that means they all have all bought at least a hundred points of product or more uh, as a, in, within a month as a distributor. So the first row below you are what we call in the industry your frontline or your level one, right? The people that you personally know and they want to be a part of the business, or in our in our case also, uh, or a wholesale customer, uh, you know, but. Uh, if you have this, and then they uh, share with other people, and minimum each of these twelve people on your level one have two other business partners below them, and they, that means they have started to grow their team, or they also qualify for commission. So this is the structure. So you have minimum on your level one twelve people who each have uh, in their team uh, uh, another two or people or more on their left and right side. So minimum, you see 12 plus 24 is 36, minimum. Now, from experience, 
my own experience, uh, for me, uh, starting in a business where we start, you know, obviously I started on day one where Jeunesse was like underground, okay? It's like nobody knows who Jeunesse is, okay? So, um, you know, I, it took me a little longer. We started uh, uh, from zero, uh, but it, I sponsored more than 20 people on my level one before I got this that far because some people come in, they, they, they might work, and some people come in, they might not work, right? Because some people, they just want to come in as a distributor to get a wholesale uh, product, right? So, um, yeah, so that's the case. So this is the structure uh, of, uh, of a Sapphire. And then, as you can see here, the 12 probably sponsor executives, minimum three on each side. So, you, can, you know, you have the left and right team. It doesn't matter which side. And the, so the 12 can be divided into three executives on one side, nine on the other, or four and what eight, eight. right yeah. what else five and what seven, seven. or seven. six and six right or vice yeah. versa so minimum nine, three on one side right it's a, it's minimum three on one side yeah three executives on yes. one side. all right go ahead Next all right slide. so so how do we find this promotion first of all to participate what you have to do is you have to actually go to your, my business on your back office and then you go down to shoot for Sapphire 2021. And it'll say by clicking here, you are agreeing to participate in shoot for Sapphire 2021. When you select that, what's gonna happen, it's gonna ask you to confirm. So you just hit okay. And then uh, to find more details about this, what you do is you go to tools and then tools from there, um, you go to distributor information and whatever region you are, you select it. For this example, I use North America. Um, and then you'll, you'll go to this page, North America. It'll scroll all the way down. And you can find more details at this website here. It's a link on your back office. Just tap on it, it'll pop up, okay? And then you come to this page, it'll pop up. Then you scroll all the way down till you find Shoot for Sapphire Promotion. Samson, this is where all the details are uh, with, with everything that you need to understand how to do Sapphire. Now, you talk a little bit about group, uh, personal group volume, okay? Now, personal group volume is the people that you sponsored into the business, the 12 people you sponsored. When they purchase packages and the points, the commissionable volume, the CV that you achieve, that's part of your personal group volume. It's not spillover, but it's just from the people that you build personally and the people they build into the business. So Samson talks about the 12 people that you put personally sponsor and those each one of those 12 people sponsor two people that whatever purchase they make a uh, wholesale retail the packages those all accumulate to that group volume now what you want to achieve is the, the accumulative of 7,500 group personal group volume you earn that three thousand dollar bonus now that's just a bonus on top of the commissions you'll earn now when you uh when you um once you still, again, you're, you're a Sapphire distributor. Remember, you have 12 executives. And then once you push up to 15,000 personal group volume, you get an additional 3,000, and a totaling of $6,000. That's how you earn that. Now, this is pretty amazing, Samson, because before, they didn't have the $3,000 breakdown. You had to you had to achieve the 15,000 um, group volume. But now, they've broken down. So you get to one step, and you can push to the next level. So it's really remarkable what how generous the company has been. Now again, and this shows the uh, the two Sapphire to, to, to uh, earn the $6,000. Again, Sapphire executive, 12 people with two, um, two people each, so 12 executives. And then you um, earn the $3,000 when you hit the personal group volume, 7,500, and up to 15,000 personal group volume, $6,000, okay? Anything else you wanna to touch on this, Samson? No, but I think, uh... I think it's good money. Um, do you want to unshare that real quick? Yes. It's great money. No. So I was just going to say it's about this much money. Okay. It's about this much money. This is about. I don't think I have enough on thousand cash right here. Okay. I don't think uh, I need. I need a couple more of these. Yeah, six thousand right here. Wow. It, it's pretty thick. Yeah. <laughs> just for fun. I'm coming over. <laughs> okay, you're coming over. Okay. You, you, you know that that's um, that's amazing. You said it because when you when people see what really is and what 
can it do, right? Because you can read it on, on the on the website, you can read it here, but when you show that money, can you show that one more time? Just fan it out like that? <laughs> I don't know how to do it your way, okay? <laughs> but, but it starts with like this, right? Yeah. Okay. And then it goes like this, right? Wow. Okay. Wow. Now, can you do this for us? No, I cannot. It'll fly all over the place. No. Okay. No, but again, all, all kidding aside, just no, well, actually, if you think about it, Bob, what if you make that money, right? And then you take it to the, and then you go, and you get your check, or you get a deposit to the bank, right? You know what would be fun? If you, you go to the bank, you tell the teller, let me withdraw that 6000 just to see how much it is. And they say, yeah, you know, that hard work is worth it, right? Yeah. All right. And then, and then you, you could also share with them, do you know how to make this kind of money? That's another way to have, a, have a, somebody ask you, of course we want to know, right? <laughs> I know. Anyway, I mean, it's just for fun, okay? All kidding aside. No, but you, you know, the thing is, a lot of people lose sight of their goal. And I think what we have to do is, if we're going to be serious about, you know, the promotion, which we are, is what we're here, okay? And that's why all these people are on here. Okay. Think about what you're going to do with that money. Now, if you hit that 6000 that's only the extra bonus. You also are making commission, right? So from your cycle bonus, from your uh, matching bonus, um, you know, you have from from May first to all the way to end of June, the last day of June. All right. So so that's a long time. Don't lose yeah. sight of it. Now don't lose sight of it because you could make more. Obviously, more than six thousand because you you're gonna have your uh, retail sales bonus when people sign up. Uh, you have other people buying product, so etc. So so it'll be good, all right. Uh, so I would say that if you are if you want the money, okay, don't only say it. You have to commit to it, okay. Then how to commit to it is by making a decision to do it. Now nobody can tell you how to make the decision. You have to decide for yourself, all right. Now, if you're going to commit to it, okay, one of the things that, the first thing I would say is, you you know, from, from, from working the business is that it'll be good to know exactly what is involved in, on the run to complete the promotion. Okay. If it would, wouldn't it be nice to know what, would, what happens during the time, what exactly what you need to do? Wouldn't it be nice? Yes. So, first of all, like Vaz explained, you know, the promotion, if you're not Sapphire, you know, you're, right now, you're qualified to make that money, all right? And we're talking about pay rank, right? That means if you look in the back office, you log in, it will, you know, in the first page on your dashboard, it will say what rank you're being paid at, all right? The next thing is you got to go to your uh, business, uh, my business menu go to sponsorship report and see exactly how 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 many more team members you need to fulfill the structure of sapphire it will show you in your sponsorship report how many people on your level one are qualified qualified means again having one person on the left one person on the right for example all right okay so that so you know exactly how far away in your team structure to reach the, the, the to reach Sapphire. Next, of course, is the sales volume, right? And that you keep track of the personal group sales volume. Volume is not only you, but it's your, it's your whole team that you started. That's through you. Uh, so from your level one down, level two, level three, et cetera, all the way to infinite level, all right? So here's the thing, you know, I always apply that rule. I always say, you know, uh, they, uh, I would say that you're one person away from explosion, right? So, so you don't know who's going to come in your business. You got to fight all the way to the very last day, sometimes the last hour, sometimes the last minute to key in the orders to, to become, to qualify either your Sapphire structure or the personal group volume. Bob, you have something to say? Yes, I wanted to ask you, Samson. So when you said the personal group volume, 
that that's in front of the people you personally sponsor. That doesn't have to be start from May first. It could be people it's already who's already in your business from before. When they buy some that part that counts for the personal group volume also, right, Samson? That's right. Anybody in your team that you personally they, sponsored and right, sponsored. they buy the product or they sell the product, right? You get the you, you get the volume as long as they're in your group. That's how it works. Okay. So now, so once you know uh, how, how what's the structure that you have now, and how much volume you need to create you got to get started you make a decision but you commit to it by making a decision now one thing is we always talk about the rules of the game right mm -hmm. so so Ross, maybe you can share with share with the people out there what are some of the rules of the game well first of all first of all the rules of the game are really make the decision right once you make that decision how, how does the structure what is the structure you want to start with because you have to start somewhere to get to the end goal of 6,000 or to be a sapphire. I think one of the, well, not I think, I know one of the rules is really determine who you're gonna be speaking to. That's really important. Because if you don't know who you're gonna to speak to, how do you start your business, right? How do you start the conversation? Right. And I believe writing that list, I've been taught this many times, it's the list is makes the most important uh, project to get started before we, you know, you might be in, have been in the business for a year or two years, and it's really important that you make a new, fresh list today. Okay, I would I would make that list as big as you can. Let's say if you shoot for twenty people, like Samson said, he sponsored twenty people to to really discover twelve people out of the twenty people to say, I want to do the business, not just a product user, but I want to do the business. I think Samson, by doing that, you know who you're going to speak to. Right now, okay. part of that is yeah. Go ahead, Samson. No, well, I was going to add on that is that. To sponsor 20 people, you probably have to talk to 50, 60, 70, 80 people. Okay? Now, you can do that in a month, or you can do that in one week. Which one do you want? Make a decision, right? Why make a decision? Because you gotta commit the time, right? So, to, to let's say if you want to sponsor 20, 25 people, and let's say 12 of those people become executive, want to do the business, hey, and you'll make it. So the rules of the game, know what to expect, right? So like you said, you can have your contact list, put the most open people at the top, put the most influential people at the top, put the people with the biggest network at the top, People put the people who are the party animals at the top, they know a lot of people, uh, put the people that love to talk, if you don't like to talk, put those people you love to talk at the top, okay? So leverage them, okay, so, they know people that you don't know, right? So you, you, we, we, the, the art of our business, the, the art of growing our, mar our team of marketing power is to find people who are entrepreneurs, who want something more. And all those characteristics, are, are the, you know, who are open, who are curious, who, who is not allergic to money, <laughs> you know, who maybe are, who are hungry, you know? Yeah. So, so put those people at the top and go through them as fast as possible. What I mean is, what, what do you do? Peak interest, right? And then you wanna invite them to a presentation or a talk you know, with the upline, right? So that's how it works. Now, I would say that you know, for me, it took me around 20 people to get the Sapphire, all right? Because to find 12 people that are interested. And the, now the next step is, obviously, the people that you personally sponsor, they're your level one, right? Now. Uh, and then, but they, to, to be Sapphire, they have to sponsor at least one distributor on each side also, right? So how do you do that? Well, I would recommend the following, and many of you have heard me said before. You know, when people join Boss, let me ask you, uh, a, a good question, let me ask you this question. When somebody signs up with me, I'm gonna ask the Boss, okay? Um, how soon you wanna make your money back? Uh, right away, I'm an entrepreneur. <laughs> right away, right? Okay. Yeah, right away. So, so folks, boss, you notice he said he's an entrepreneur, and he said right away, because entrepreneurs and business owner know the first step in the business is get your money back, right? Okay. So first goal, make your money back. Okay. So then I would say, boss, since you you know uh, you want to make the money as soon as possible, right? Okay. Hey, do you have maybe half an hour to an hour right now? 
Yeah, if I want to make uh, my money people back. People yeah. who are just like you, who are excitable, yeah. who, who, who want to make money, who are go-getters. You yes. know what? For the next half hour to an hour, I'm available. You contact them, you know, look, see if they're interested in doing a business together, and, uh, you know, put me on the phone. Mm-hmm. And then put me on the phone. Do a three-way with me, or we can do WhatsApp or FaceTime. Well, FaceTime, I don't know if you can do multiple, but WhatsApp, you can do that. WeChat, you can do that. Uh, other apps, communication apps, you can do that where you have multiple people on the call with video, right? Mm-hmm. So that's how, boom, you get started right away for your new people immediately, right? Now, so now the, uh, the rules of the game, part of it is this. We can look at people as like apples, for example, right? There's three types of apple, a red, green, and a rotten apple, okay? So the red apples, are the people that are ready. They are ripe. They're ready to go. Now, the green apple are the ones that are not quite ripe. Maybe they want more information or maybe they they, 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 they have something to have to think about or they have some questions in their mind, okay? Now, the rotten apples, you know, when you stick your head in, you know, in a basket of apples and you feel something squishy and all that and, and you're like, oh, what's this on my head, you know? Anyway, so rotten apple are the people that not interested or maybe even negative what you want to do is throw them away (laughs) well not literally but you know what i mean right but get over it and get past it i mean spend as little time as possible on those kind of people because you don't have time for that if if you if you make a decision right if you commit to doing that now so you, you got to go through to sponsor 20 okay i would say probably um you need to go through 60 70 80 people so look all so you got to go through those people as fast as possible the ones that say no or maybe hey you know what you don't have time you got to find the people that are red apples right away mm. huh? because those people will be worth your time because boss they'll be just like you for example yeah, where they will want to make the money back right away they will talk to their friends right away yes. see those people you know what if you work with those people man you know what kind of business you have a pretty exciting business yes. I mean, yeah right so that's what we want to do that's that's the real part of doing the business you know a lot of people that say you know ah, business seems so hard but do you know why because they're going too slow and they're hanging on every maybe or no but rather the focus should never the time and focus should not be on those but the people that are you want to find already now mm-hmm. okay then you have that's the difference between somebody really, you know, going at it, you know, loving the business and the people that are kind of just going slow, of, going slow about it, right? I mean, some of the people we have online, they know, because we have some partners on here that have been, been here for, for maybe six months, a year, a few years. They know you want to get an environment and be surrounded by people who, who are excited, who are on fire, who want something out of life. They want something, they're willing to go get it, and you guys are working hard, you know, spreading the message out there, right? So so that's a very important point. And, and so the second thing, boss, I would highly recommend is to talk to people every day, mm-hmm. right? Wouldn't you agree? If you're committed, $6,000, yeah. $6,000, boss. Yeah, no, it, it really, it Extra. makes a difference. Yeah, it Extra. makes a difference to talk to people every day. Yeah, even if you have an hour to an hour, or you, you know, just bump into people and you know, get to know them. And not, look, nowadays, you know, look, there's a lot of things happening. Maybe people have lost touch with each other. You know, call them up. What's ask? Them, what What's going on with you? How are you? Long time no talk. Show them. Show them your care. You know. So so when people know you care, they're open to listen to anything. You know, and, and that's how we bring through people, you know. Yeah. I, I think for me, you know, I haven't talked to a few friends for a long time. Well, I'm going to call, yeah. hey, you know, long time, no talk. How's the wife? How's the kid? You yeah. know, you know the, uh, like we have friends in, 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 in uh, Canada, another lockdown, uh, extended mm. for two weeks. Mm. You know, I feel for them, okay? But you know mm. what? What's going on? You know, because, because, because life is much more than this business or about being locked down or about being afraid of COVID. Life is more than that. Yeah. But here's the thing. You make, uh, you you create your own life. You know, you, with your mindset, you have a certain perception about life. Mm-hmm. And you, know, you create your own. So what kind of life you want? You want to create one where it's very slow and, 
you know, everything is a struggle, or what, you want to create one that thing go like this. Yeah, you know, stab it. Yeah, you, you, you know, boss, you got to reject the rejections before they reject you. <laughs> you know, yeah, I think it's really not. about being intentional, right? Really being yeah. intentional when you speak sure. to people, not hiding around the bush. Oh, uh, you know, you know, they're going to feel that. Yeah, I mean, be calm with the excitement. Hey, listen, Sam, I have something to share with you, and I just want to catch up, see what's going on with you. Yeah. Just make that intention, because if you come out of the bush, it's like, oh, let me tell you about Jeanette. They might say, whoa, is this not what I, you know, I thought this call was something else. But if you make an intentional sense, and I think people are more open to listening, okay, I, boss did say, say that this call is intentional. He said he had something to share, yeah. and now we're going to get to know each other. That's right. And you know, the most powerful thing is being vulnerable and authentic. You know, you've got to maybe, you know, for me, like, I, I, you know, when I talk to people, I prep it, right? And just like you said, intentional. We can, we can come from the head where we have a motive and this is what we're going to talk about. This, and, and you got to come up with a strategy and what to say and all that. But instead, come from the heart with, just like you say, your intention and just let it flow. That is the easiest way. And be vulnerable about it. Have fun, have fun with it. You know, be, you know, treat other people as human beings. Yeah, that's very important. And and actually, you know, this little thing that me and you just talk about, having the intention and, and really be authentic about it, okay, be vulnerable about it, it actually creates a very duplicable action. Because anybody can do that, you know? So so if from people who know how to talk, from people who don't know how to talk, you know, they, somehow the message gets through, you know? So... I mean, I think what I think what happens, Samson, is a lot of the time when people join, they think they have to know everything. Yeah. Instead of just, I mean, how do we normally have a conversation with people, right? We just have a conversation. That's right. You know, you can talk about family, you can talk about work, you can talk about whatever else is happening on the news, you can talk about kids, you can talk about, you know, man, when's the last time we traveled and et cetera, right? So, so you know, we, you know, nobody, when I talk to a friend of mine who's a lawyer, okay? Uh, a couple months ago, I haven't talked to him in a while, and um, and and he's like, he, we're talking about what's going on, you know, in, in the world, and he's like, he's so sick and tired of it, right? I says, yeah, me too. We got to do something about it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> uh, this is something we can do, right? That's how it works. Okay, so now let's go on. So so that's how we can warm up and invite people because if they're open to something, you know, to to creating something in this uh, quote unquote pandemic, okay. But, well, here's a chance, here's an opportunity, right? So, you know what? Hey, let me introduce you to my very good friend and also my partner in the business. Now, this is something very exciting that they can tell you more about it, you know, more detail. I know you're gonna have questions. I might not have all the answers, but I just wanna make sure that you're taken care of. But then it's important to edify that person. Okay, so for me, in my mind, boss, I've always thought it like this, okay? For example, boss, me and you are friends. Mm -hmm. So we have like a link. We're linked to each other, right? As friends, right? We're linked by what? Trust. Trust, yeah. Okay. So now, if we introduce a third person in, and let's say I have a friend that you don't know, mm -hmm. okay? So what I would do, I would introduce him to link that trust with the new person. So I edify that person. I'd say good things about them. I'd tell him my story with them. I'd tell him how much I trust them in certain ways, right? And then I'd say, boss, you know, you would love that person. They are a good person, and you know I, I've known them for how long, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, they say so. So it, it's like it's like a baton of trust. You, you two have one, and then you pass it on to the other person, so that all three of you are in in, in this trust. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's yeah, because they're not trust. strangers at that point. Really, someone yeah. said the trust is already built there. Yep, exactly. So that's how you can edify your sponsor or your business partner, right? So. Then let the, let then you do introduction and then you let the, let the let your sponsor or business partner know you know uh, who your friend is how you know each other and what they are interested in. Okay, now a lot of people though they end up edifying their friend versus their their sponsor. What I would highly recommend the best practice is to edify your sponsor or leader and then just a simple introduction for your friend except add on to that what are they excited about what they want to change okay 
So now, so this is the exercise. So as you go down your list, you have a list of people and you're calling and you know, see how they are and all that. Don't take any more than five to 10 minutes, mm -hmm. okay? And then just go on, keep, keep calling. Oh, you know what? I gotta call another person. No, let's get great conversation. Let me catch up with you. But look, if they're open, then, then you know what? Let's make a time. And you have, you have another a few minutes now. Let me introduce you. No, if they're open, right? Hey, you have a few more minutes. I don't want to take up all your time, but you know, let me introduce you to my business partner now. And, this, and then you start talking about them, right? And then you put them together on the phone. So now, I have a quick question, Samson. Yeah. The reason that, that you edify the, the business partner rather than the person, your friend who you're introducing your business partner, what's the purpose of that? So that they will respect them. Respect what they say, respect who they are. It's very important, yeah. And, and again, you know, it, it's about trust. So you need to be edifying the, your sponsor or leader the whole time, okay? Saying good things about them, look, if they're, <laughs> like, I only work with people who are good people. Mm -hmm. So it's always from my heart. There's no way for me to, <laughs> to, to, uh, to edify somebody who I don't feel good about. Yeah. You, you get it? So true. So yeah, true. right? I mean, yeah. We're, we have to be upfront. We have to be authentic. That's part of building, that's a big, big part of building the business. But as you know, you know, a lot of time uh, on and off the webinar, you know, I'm the same, right? On and off yeah. stage, I'm oh, the yeah. same. Yeah. You've known me for years now, right? Yeah. So, oh, yes. so all of us in, in our team, we're like, we're like that, yeah. you know? Because we're all on this journey together. Together, yeah. right? And it's so, completely different from the workplace, Samson, because the workplace, you go there and you have to deal with the co-workers, the supervisors, so you have to put on the space. But here we have a choice, actually, who do we want to work with? Yeah. If there's something that I don't like about that person, I'm not, I don't want to work with them because I don't want the energy, bad energy in my team. So yeah. I want to have conversations with people who are up to big things, want to create something, or, or entrepreneurs or successful people. That's what I want on my team. I think it's really, really important that you said that. Well, you know, and on top of that, since you brought it up, our vulnerability and our authenticity, our story, can actually be inspiration to other people around us. Mm -hmm. Like the inspiration gives people hope. Mm -hmm. So, so what is important here? You know, a lot of people ask. So, how do I lead my team? All right. Well, the most simple way is lead by example okay so if you for example in when you run the promote for the promotion announce to your team that you're running for it are they are they in it together right so and why are you are you fired up about it what are you going to do with that money how's it going to make you feel what is your story about you know, right why are you running for the promotion and what if you succeed what's going to happen okay so so your simple communication announcement to your team that you're doing that it could be an inspiration for them to hey you know what yeah you know if, I, if samson or boss gonna do it we, why not we can give it a shot right and, and here's the thing see i i have coached many leaders around the world and they are some of the most you know some of these people are incredibly amazing and a real inspiration to me mm -hmm. because some of these people they are fighters you know do you know people who are fighters oh yeah yeah. <laughs> no matter what happens, they are, they are going, 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 going all the way to the very last hour, very last minute. Yeah. Those and they are, don't take no for an answer. Yeah, well, they, well, they are the real inspiration, right? That fighting spirit, never giving up. So, so that's how. That's why this business is duplicatable. We can have quote unquote activities, but what's the content of those activities? How we go about these activities. I can tell you, yeah, we got to talk to, you know, 60, 70, 80 people to, to maybe sponsor 20. And then we got to help them sponsor two each. Okay, that's the activity. But but what I'm telling you now, besides the activity, there's a whole other side to the business. It's called the human side. Mm -hmm. the, the, the power, the energy of the individual. This is a business of agency. We represent something. But the most important thing you represent is yourself or who you are, your authentic you. Because you know what? People come into the business for different reasons. Mm -hmm. Some, they have money, but they're in it to do something for themselves, their own self-esteem. Mm -hmm. 
to, to maybe learn something, to challenge themselves. Other people, they don't have money. They just want to do something for themselves and their family, a, a better future in the world. You see? But all of, all of us in life, we have our ups and downs, right? We have a moment of glory and a moment of despair, right? Moment of triumph, moment of fear, right? We all have that. So when we can come into this authentic self, you are the most powerful person. It, 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 and you can accomplish almost anything. Okay, that's the truth. I've seen it happen over and over and over again with people around the world. So, and, and at that people at that point, Samson, people are attracted to you and who you are and what you're out to create in the world. It's, it's about making that difference for others. You know, if, they, if I look at it as what's in it for me, what's in it for me? Yeah, our business will flow, but if I really look at what's in it for Samson or what's in it for the person that I'm speaking to, if I'm if I'm attracting them to my business to be part of the family, if I focus on that, they'll the authenticity, as you said, it comes through. It comes through your language. It, it comes through the way you're being, and that's what people want because now there's so much stuff going on in the world. They want some real people, authenticity, and and not lie. They want they want to hear the truth about things, right? And if, like you said before, you know, it's really about um, um you said um something you said I wanted to touch up on it doesn't people don't care how much you know about this business they just want to know how much you care about them because Jeunesse doesn't mean anything to them the, the, the promotions or the or the, the accolades that Jeunesse does nothing it means nothing to them so you know I mean they know that there's something in it for themselves that's right and, and that brings to a point you know is that the, 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 the company is there the products are there We've all, you know, all of us on this uh, uh, webinar have experienced the products, mm -hmm. so we know it's real. The company, most of us, well, almost all of us have gotten paid from the company, mm -hmm. so the money is real, mm -hmm. right? But what makes it even more real is our own agency, how we are, how we represent it. That makes the biggest impact, that makes it totally real for the other person. Mm -hmm. Your story, your experience, is powerful it's validation Every single one of you out there don't underestimate it you know mm -hmm. now so so from there and it brings to a point what you were mentioning boss is that um what you want to do is do the business every day you're gonna commit to it be a leader lead by example so when you do something and you get result you know what make sure your team do the same thing right Go for the best practices. Mm -hmm. Now, for example, I just share with, with all of you out there how to peak interest mm -hmm. and then invite. What I share is the best practice. All right, now, but even better is I just want to make sure because we are in the end arena of technology. Mm -hmm. It's important to remember, and many of you have heard me before, where there's high tech, there needs to be high touch. Uh, high touch means the touchy feeling thing that humans do to, yeah. to show that you care about them, to show that you take care of them, right? So good customer service, right? Good 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 communication, right? High touch, where well, high tech, you need the high touch, right? So it's important that we execute the best practice with authenticity and care and a follow-up, okay? So what your leaders will do is, you know, be, uh, they will guide you step by step and once you do that action what you need to do is get back with the leader to tell them what happened and let them give you the feedback so the shortcut see people always ask for shortcut the shortcut is to ask questions do and then and then and then, and then the leader give the feedback the feedback loop is very important if you don't get feedback, you don't know what you're doing right and you don't know what you're doing wrong. Mm -hmm. Because getting result, it, you want to get consistent result. Mm -hmm. You don't want to just get, you just don't want to do one way and get one result and then never get result again. Because that one way was kind of like an outlier. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Like something that, that's a fluke. Okay? Yes. You want to have the activities and best practices that's consistent. So, like, like what I share with you, know, you warm up, you said hello and catch up, talk about family, friends, uh, you know, 
job, money, finances, what's happening in the world, you know, are they, you know, what's happening? Do, are they looking for something? Are they hungry? Do they, do they want more? All right? Do they need an opportunity? All right? And, and then invite, right? So, and then what, how I say edification, right? Edify your sponsor or leader, right? And then introduce uh, your friend and then also tell them what they're excited about, right? In your conversation, right? Now that's pretty simple, right? And then let the lead, let your leader or sponsor talk for you on the call, right? Now I did not mention text. You notice that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's not personal. personal. No, exactly. Uh-huh. High touch. It needs to be personal. You need to get close to them. You need to talk to them with with, with the voice. You know. Yeah. So if you don't communicate with the voice, there's no power. Mm-hmm. You know, according to NLP. Neuro linguistic programming with a particular, you know, way of communication or a study of communication, you know, seven percent of communication is the words, mm. right? Okay, so it's just seven percent is the words. So if you text, is only seven percent of the communication ban- bandwidth you are using to communicate, right? And then you have maybe about uh, let me see, uh, what what is uh, let's see, seven percent. You have three, blah, 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 blah. okay. Uh, you have uh, thir- uh, 38% of it, okay? 38% is tone and context of how you communicate, right? You can say, for example, I love you. You can say, I love you, or I love you. All means different things, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so so 38% is context or tone, all right? Now, 55%, you know what that is? His body and facial language. You know, nowadays, when I watch TV, you know, uh, I'm not going to talk about politics, but when people are <laughs> on the podium talking and yeah. looking at their face and, and, and how they talk, oh my gosh, you can tell if they're light, if they're trying to convince you, you can see everything. Mm-hmm. When somebody keeps say, trying to convince you, and they're shaking their head all the time. If I say, boss, oh, you know, this is the best company. You can, I know, I can't believe it. And they keep shaking their head. You know what that means? They're trying to convince you, but inside, subconsciously, they don't believe it. That's why they're shaking their heads. Now, yes. Yeah, stuff like that. I just want to throw it out there because it's a lot of fun when you start to notice all these things, okay? Yeah. So body language is very important. Look, if I talk to you with my arms crossed and you know, and keep looking around all the time, you're like, how can I trust this guy, right? If people don't look you in the eye or keep, always keep looking away, look, it's one thing when they look away to think. It's another yeah. thing when they, their eyes keep shifting, just the eyes, not their head, right? <laughs> so, so anyway, it's just some fun stuff I want to share with you. So, yeah. so to communicate, it has to be high touch. Yeah. With the voice, the video is the best. If, it's, if you have a, some slides, if you prep them for formal presentation and you're going to use Zoom uh, then with slides and you have to use Zoom, right? Mm-hmm. So, but anyway, so at the uh, end, yeah, go ahead. I, I wanted to touch on what you said about the high touch. Now, most people, Samson, they text because they're afraid that they may say no or they're not certain for themselves. And, yeah. and, and people can, you know, people can see that there is no high touch, as you said. And if you're confident in what you're representing or the, the person that's your sponsor or the or the person that you look up to in your upline, when you have that confidence, it's easy to capture that confidence. And well, when you, when you, yeah, when, and, and you're exactly right. But here's the thing. And, you know, and, and, and here's the thing that let me point it out before you point it out, okay? <laughs> is that, is that, is that, is that, <laughs> Look, a lot of people are used to using text. Yes. It has very little convincing power. You're very likely to get a note by texting mm-hmm. rather than, you know, get them on the phone. If it's important enough, tell me about I want to hear more, right? If it's not that important, yeah, let me just text it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's like, you know, if, it's, if you believe it's going to change your life, well, oh, you got to be so excited that you would call them up at midnight to tell them about it. Oh my gosh, you can't believe what I saw this day. It's like, hey, you know what time it is? <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, now, if it's that important to you, make it important. If you don't treat it, if you don't 
present it or treat it or act as if it's important, they won't feel that it's important. Okay, you're a mute boss, just FYI. Okay, so, but, uh, okay, so what we gotta go through is you gotta go through a lot of numbers, okay? You gotta go through a lot of people. I highly suggest to take actions every day. Mm -hmm. So even if you do part-time, so you spend, you put aside 30 minutes, okay? Just 30 minutes even, or maybe one hour to talk to 10 people a day. Mm -hmm. That's 50 people a week if you do five days a week, or 60 people if you do six days, seven pe 70 people if you do seven days a week. That's through 10, and see where it goes. Have some fun, you know? And, and they get the, these phone calls, of course, it has to be, you gotta catch them at the right time so they're not flaky and you don't wanna waste their time. So you gotta be dynamic and have some fun and you know get into the good conversation with them. You know, before you talk about, it's not about Janice, it's not, you know? It's about them, it's about you, it's what, what's happening, you know? So that's easier uh, uh, subject, uh, you know, uh, subject matters to connect with them and then find out you know, if they're open or not, you know? So now from the people who do product, well, you know, that's product, all right? So you, uh, if, if, if at the end of the day, if, if they decide not to do the business, they can also be a consumer. Right? Hey, you know what? It's good for you. You want to be more healthy because, you know, on the on TV they always talk about the sickness rather than being healthy. Mm -hmm. Well, hey, we are here to talk about being healthy too. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and that's the thing. You know, you, you can't be if you have a good immune system like young people do. Mm -hmm. Fight it off, no problem. Asymptomatic, no symptom whatsoever even from the COVID. So, so that, I have a question, Samson. What about the people who? Uh, share the product first rather than the business. What happens in that scenario when people do that? Because some people fall in love with the product, even yeah. though they were spoken to about the business. Well, it's very important that they share their own story. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, but at the end of the day, if you want to build to be a sapphire, okay, so the, you need business partners. Mm -hmm. So you got to share with the business, okay? The product, in a sense, for me, is like a tool to make money. I get physical benefits from there, you know, stay young and all that, you know, except they don't sell, sell hair dyes yet. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I, yeah, but there you go, okay. But I do use the reveal, okay. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, from a product standpoint, from people who are focused on the product, well, you know what, you have your own story, right? That's why, but there's a business attached. Why are you sharing? Well, not only because, look, we can, we can go, uh, to a department store and buy products, mm -hmm. okay? But there's no opportunity there. Mm -hmm. So share your story because your friend trusts you, they will listen. Mm -hmm. And share your story of what happened to you, how you got in it, okay? Mm -hmm. And see if it's for them. Mm -hmm. If not, try the product because it will help you. Well, all of us use the product. If we, do, if we don't believe in it, we wouldn't be here, right? Yeah, I mean, so, I truly believe that these products are, I, I think it was, you shared a story a while back, Samson, that your mom shared, said that it's your social social responsibility to share this with people. Yeah. If you know for a fact that it can help them, yeah. you, you have you should you should yeah. share with them. It's up to them to, to say yes and to buy it or not, yes. but you got to share. And the easiest way, the most authentic way is your own story. Mm -hmm. You know, share your skepticism, share what took you from maybe maybe not to buying the product and using it and then share with them what you saw mm -hmm. you know and how it worked on you and how you see it work on other people that's what you share it, it's experience yeah. yeah now if you go that way though in general i've seen that go a little bit slower okay mm -hmm. you can sell product yeah okay but to create the team it, it's a lot slower all right so you probably have to go through way more people than than 60 70 80 people to sign up 20 on your level one and then you gotta like pull teeth to, to for them to open their contacts to you mm -hmm. because they're just still trying the product mm -hmm. you understand yeah okay so there's a difference when, when we build the business okay the business the way i look at it is this this business is very similar to any other business in mm -hmm. terms of retail or, or stores etc the only difference is that uh, we don't have to have inventory. We don't have to do uh, the shipping. We don't have to do any of the administration. We just do the marketing. And what is marketing? But just sharing a message. 
Facts tell, stories sell. Okay, facts tell, people get bored with facts. There are people who are into the facts, but it's always an emotional buy. Now, we make decisions based on our emotions, okay? So, so we, we, that's why certain things we talk about, the logical part, but we need to talk about the story. The story is what actually convinced people. But it has to be, for me, it should be an authentic story. And it's not about crafting a story, but there's a better way, there's always better ways, better words to use in telling a story one way than another. Okay, but you gotta keep it authentic so we get so 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 people see right through it, okay? Now, now so it's important that you know we we know we we keep our eye on the goal to create a structure of sapphire and then keep track in the in the report of how many PGV we got. Now there's a 35% rule. So for example, that you have 12 people on your level one, okay. No, the maximum volume you can get from one leg to qualify is 35% of the ultimate promotion, okay? So, Voss, how many P PGV you need to hit to get the $6,000? 15, you need, right? you need 15,000 to so have right. personal group buying. Right. So, the most you can get from the 12, any one person, and they're lying down is 5,000. Okay, that's 35%, right? One third, right? Okay, so a little bit more than one third, right? Yeah. But you need at least the volume spread uh, among uh, the whole group, okay? Okay, so um, now what will happen is that it's about duplication, mm -hmm. leading by example, right? Mm -hmm. Now, boss, let me ask you if you were running for the promotion and you happen to hit it by the end of May, what are you gonna do for the rest of June? Say I have my team members to achieve the same rank. Okay, now let's turn it around. If I'm your team member, right? No. And I say, oh my gosh, Voss hit the promotion in May already. He got his six thousand no. dollar. I don't want to be left behind. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go, Samson. We can do this again. We're all running together, right? It's one of part of that team. The synergy's there. If one does it, others say I could do the same. That's right. So if you achieve the promotion earlier, it's more motivation for your team. Yes. See, that's how lead by example work. You be, you take action, you achieve it, you become the inspiration and hope for, for your team. That's how it is. You know, to be very honest, you know, like aside from this promotion, um, I hit diamond in 2011, okay? November, 2011. I, I was the fourth diamond in the company I had no expectation. I have no idea what that means. And many of you don't, if you're not diamond yet, you wouldn't have any idea either. Yeah. I was making serious, some serious money. And I'm like, okay, it's great. Well, over time, my team got bigger, 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 right? Uh, so the next few years, I stay at diamond from 2011 till 2015. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, at that time though, as a diamond, as the group got bigger, my paycheck just got boom, 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 went up four or five times from 2011. Mm -hmm. I, I was making money faster than I can spend it. Mm -hmm. I remember, <laughs> isn't that a good feeling? Wouldn't that be a good feeling, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I was working so much, I didn't have time yeah. to spend it, maybe I, except at the airport, okay? Yeah, yeah. So I was doing so, so you were traveling everywhere. A lot, okay, now. So, but here's the thing. Uh, at that time, our other diamond, uh, uh, Yvonne Yen had hit diamond. In 2015, she was running for diamond. It just by coincidence, I did not plan anything. Mm -hmm. She hit double diamond, I hit double diamond on the same month. Okay? I remember that too. And you know, that was a big boost to the team. Yeah. And then I really recognized, you know what? Yeah, maybe I need to stretch a little bit. Because the income from being a diamond, because my group was huge, it was big money already. Mm -hmm. But when we all hit the double, when both of us hit the double diamond, it's even more incredible. So you know what? It, it's... It's the best when you make money together mm -hmm. with the people that come into the business with you, okay? Mm -hmm. But it, sh it became a real inspiration for the people. So for you, like I said, lead by example, Vaz, like with the example we we're giving earlier, if you hit the uh, promotion by end of May, you have a whole month. Your whole team can get the promotion. Mm -hmm. so, so, so let's put it this way. How you can create massive momentum, massive sales into your team, 
is that you achieve it and the more other people in your team achieve it, the, bit, the more the excitement. And let me put it this way. In traditional business, you know, I was in the furniture business before. I have three stores. Every month, I would, I would like, at the beginning of the month, I would think, I would say, man, I got to work hard this month. I don't know how much I'm going to make this month. I don't know how many people is going to come through the store. I cannot control the economy. I don't know how much money I'm going to make this month, right? That's traditional business. Now, in our business, let me tell you, folks, this is where the money is. You will see it coming, okay? The more excited people you have, the more people making money around you and your team, the bigger the your money that's coming the next month and the month after that and the month after that and the month after that. That's called momentum. Momentum is is getting result and then more result and then more and more and more and more and more and more, and more, and more building up like that and the speed of it. I always say it's easier to work the business fast than slow. That's why I recommend you do the business every single day. You have to do something to move your business forward, even if it's half an hour, one hour, two hour, eight hour, whatever, however many hours you work. Okay. So that's how you can build massive momentum. So in this, in this promotion, the sooner you get to Sapphire, the sooner your team will get to Sapphire too. The more volume will come up, the more your commission pay plus the 6,000. That's it. So, and, and you, if you have a whole bunch of people doing it in your team, you're like, we're rocking the business. Yeah. And then wait till what's come in July and August. I know, I can't wait. You've oh, been wait, talking I, about it. Oh, but, but we cannot tell them, okay? I but see. you have, here's the thing, and not because you trust me, okay? But I know what's coming in July and August. If you build a massive momentum in May and June, you're going to make even more money in July and August because the promotion that's coming is it's like in line with it. Okay? Uh -huh. I can't not say what it is, yeah. but, but, <laughs> but it, it's going to be big. And just make some fast money. Mm -hmm. No? Actually, no, today I was talking with a friend of mine in Asia this morning. He kind of dropped out. He got, his life got busy. A lot of things happened. And, uh, you know, he's in Asia trying to, you know, really make a living for himself. But the last three years, before he, he went back to Asia from U.S., he was doing okay. But after he went back, it's just going downhill. Okay, mm -hmm. he's not doing well at all. I, he called me and said, well, well, I haven't talked to him in months. He called me and said he wants to re-engage in the business. When mm -hmm. I told him how much he can make, he's all, really? What do I need to do, right? And he, 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 he's getting started again. See, people leave and they come back. Mm -hmm. So that's an exciting thing, you know. But lead by example, you know, how we talk, what do we talk about today? You got to, no matter what happens, you got to go, 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 go. All right? Now, there's no way for me or you to tell the folks out there how to overcome every little thing that comes up between now and end of, end of uh, June, okay? End of June, yeah. But, but all you have to do is to keep in constant communication with your sponsor and your sponsor and your leader to ask questions, to, to ask him for help, to mm -hmm. let to have him do presentation for you, mm -hmm. have him talk for you. Mm -hmm. Ask. Mm -hmm. That's the easiest way to overcome. And through the process, through through the asking, no, you you know, maybe your friend have a question that you don't know the answer to, your mm -hmm. sponsor, you don't know they will do the answer. After a while, you will know all the mm -hmm. answers. Mm -hmm. Right? So yeah. that really is, is training on the go. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Besides, you felt about, I know how you feel. I felt the same way. That's what I found. That's the best way to handle any objection. Practice that, okay, with your sponsor and your leader. So, so you have all the very basic tools to do the business. You're mm -hmm. learning. You won't learn until you actually do it. Mm -hmm. if, if you if you're afraid to to talk to people, look at it this way. It's a learning experience. Mm -hmm. The more people you talk to, the faster you will learn. And the easier it becomes. That's right. If I tell you, you have to sponsor a minimum 20 people to become Sapphire because, you know, most of those people might not do the business. Maybe mm -hmm. 12 out of 20 plus will do it. I already told you the odds. So talk to 50, 60, 70 people. You don't care who, who, who 
they are. You know, you look for people who are open, sharp, um, entrepreneur, you know, influential, know a lot of people, life of the party, people, mm-hmm. you know, and people love to talk. They're going to carry the business forward for you. That's how it works. True. And, and one of the things I want to touch on is, is what you said. A lot of the times when people come aboard, they, they believe that the person, the sponsor or the person, the leader is too busy for them. So I, I say to people, put those concerns, considerations aside, just call. Because I guarantee you, they would love to hear from you because they want to help you build your business. Yeah, no, that's exactly right. Look, your, your sponsor and your leader, they're there to, for you to lean on. Mm-hmm. They are support. Support not only somebody who can do presentation and talk for you, but they're there for emotional support. You know, that's, that's why this business is easy. We can pull support from, you know, people, well, let me put it this way. People say, hey, is this a pyramid scheme? I said, you bet, but it's not this way. It's upside down upside pyramid. Down. Well, I have to support everybody else. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, so, but anyway, I mean, this is how, why our business work? Because it's people power. It's business through people. You know, it's very, when I study, when I studied in college, it was business finance it's about money i never studied about people i had no idea how it worked but now through incredible experience i get the whole gamut oh life is much easier i look at life very differently so in this business it is people business if we treat people right you know your business will be that much better that's how it works sure. okay? yeah. yeah so so you know i would encourage all of you to get to your target asap so make it look two weeks from now, three weeks from now. I've seen people hit Sapphire one week, you know, way faster than I could ever do, but they did it. Mm-hmm. There are people who can do that, okay? So if you never thought that you can be Sapphire one week, if, if that's what your goal, give yourself the permission to hit Sapphire in one week, okay? Or give yourself a permission, set a goal two weeks, three weeks from now, because then the people that will come in after you, they will have a better chance to hit the same promotion with you. That's how it works. Yeah. That's how it works. Well, Samson, that was, that, was, that was made simple for people to understand. Now, we're out of time. Um, you know, what I got was just having those constant conversations on a daily basis till you hit the rank. And not only that, but then you support your team to do the same. That's right. Over and over and over again. Wow. Thank you, Samson. This has been a pleasure. And I'm really ecstatic about what, what you create and how you put it out there to make it so simple for people. Thank just you. Just go out and do it. Make a, make a commitment by making a decision for yourself and just go do it. Thank you, boss. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Boss. Thank you, Samson, for having me. Take care. All right. All right, guys. Good Thank night. You. Good morning. Good day to everyone out there. And we'll see you guys on the next training. Take care. Take care.